In my last video, we talked a little bit about energy orbs and how experts say that you can't see these energy orbs with your own eyes, but cameras can. And this reminded me of an old paranormal mystery known as rods or air rods. It is believed by the paranormal community that these air rods are either living creatures, atmospherical beasts, or some sort of non-living anomaly such as energy. And whatever they are, you can't see them, but cameras can detect them, just like the energy orbs. Now this all started in 1994 when a man named Jose, who was a professional film producer and editor, saw a strange image on one of his photographs. He said at first he thought they were just insects flying across the camera, but as time went by he kept seeing them and he wasn't 100% sure what they were, so he started to investigate. And after a lot of research and analyzing, he believed that these were some unknown creatures still unknown to science. He stated that these rods, which he named, had a cylinder body, multiple sets of wings, moved super fast, and could grow or be up to 6 feet long, maybe even longer. And not too long after he came forward with his findings, this theory that there could be 6 foot long insects flying all over the place and we can't see them, well, it really took off. Some believed Jose, but most thought that his idea was crazy and that these were nothing more than bugs or insects. One professor stated that cameras are capable of producing artifacts, something in the picture that was never really there. And this professor did a lot of his own testing and he did capture things that kind of looked like rods and he believed that he had debunked this theory, and so did everybody else. Even when you look at Wikipedia's page today, sadly where most people go looking for the truth, it says that these rods are nothing more than an optical illusion. Now I'm not saying that these rods are real, it could indeed be some sort of optical illusion, or what the professionals call artifacts, but here's where things get really interesting. Jose, who sadly died not too long ago, looked at these pictures back in the 90s that this professor took and he knew right away that these were not rods. He stated that rods, just like any other bug or insect, has their own footprint, their own flight path. You can easily tell if it's a moth or a bird or an airplane. And a rod is a rod. And to me that makes a heck of a lot of sense, especially if we're talking about video footage. And these rods are captured all the time in pictures and on tape. And they have even been seen in space and underwater. Now for the sake of argument, let's just say that these rods, these 6 foot long insect looking things exist. And they are underwater, they're in space, just all around us all the time, and you can't even see them with your own eyes. Well then, what could they possibly be? My favorite and most extreme theory is that these are not living things at all. They are tiny alien drones that are watching and recording everything we and all living things on earth do. There are many examples in movies where people from the CIA or the NSA make a tiny little bug such as a fly that sneaks into our rooms of our enemies and records what they say. So if there are aliens that are highly advanced and they know we exist, I don't think that this theory is that crazy. Religious people always say that God is always watching us, well, maybe aliens are too. Another theory is that these are atmospherical beasts. They are born in the sky, they can live in space, they don't need earth to survive, and they possess abilities that we know nothing about. A lot of people believe that atmospherical beasts do exist. I remember watching a documentary a long time ago where astronauts claimed that they saw a creature that looked like a worm just flying in space, and sometimes they would fly really close to the spacecraft windows and these astronauts really believed that these were living things because of how they moved. But NASA stated that these things that look like worms were nothing more than space debris. But astronauts who have actually seen them with their own eyes disagree with NASA. And I might cover this in more detail in a future video if I can uncover more information because it is mind blowing. Now today there are people who hunt rods in hopes of finally catching one. Just like how people hunt for Bigfoot. Jose stated shortly before he died that this phenomena is real. And for those of you who don't believe in it, well that's your prerogative. You can believe what you want or disbelieve, but the fact is these things are here. They are doing something here. We don't know what they are doing, but they are doing it. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.